Discover the latest in VR technology with the Pico 4 device and explore the potential impact of virtual reality on society. Are you looking for an immersive VR experience and you don't want to break the bank? Well, the Pico 4 VR headset may have you covered, but there's more to it than just the features and specs. While technology is making virtual reality more accessible, the question takes us deeper. What implications will wider adoption of such technologies have on society? In today's video, we're going to take a look at the latest in VR technology with the Pico 4 device, so you can make an informed decision for your day-to-day -day VR needs and gain insight into the potential impact of virtual reality. Let's go ahead and dive in. Subscribe to Metagen and keep watching to learn more about the potential implications of virtual reality technology. Don't miss out on the opportunity to make an informed decision for your day-to-day -day VR needs. The Pico 4 Enterprise VR headset is an upgrade from the Pico 4. It has three internal cameras allowing for eye and face tracking technology, as well as improved IPD adaptation with a motorized drive for automatic adjustment. This is different from the Pico 4, which only has manual IPD settings and no head tracking or auto adjusting capabilities. This new device is great because it offers advanced features at an affordable cost. It gives you a comfortable and accurate experience. So how will this increased immersion affect future demand? The Pico 4 Enterprise VR headset is packed with features and comes at an affordable price. The high-resolution screen and 6DOF tracking makes it comfortable to use in any environment. Plus, with eye, face, and hand tracking, you can use your hands to manipulate objects on screen or even play multiplayer games with people from all over the world. This headset is also lightweight, making it easy to transport. With all these great features, what more could virtual reality fans ask for? The Pico 4 Enterprise VR headset is a great choice compared to other headsets on the market. It's much cheaper than the MetaQuest Pro, but still offers a crystal clear visual experience with an impressive 4K plus resolution display and a 105 degree field of view. You won't have to worry about feeling uncomfortable either. The lightweight design makes it easy to move around while in virtual reality mode. Plus with automatic IPD adjustment, face tracking, and improved battery life compared to earlier models, it's no wonder why so many people prefer this headset for their immersive experiences. Overall, the combination of affordability and features that offer improved interactivity make the Pico 4 Enterprise a great choice when it comes to virtual reality technology. But what implications does this kind of immersion have on our cognitive behavior? What do you think the impact of this technology will be on societies as we move forward towards digital experiences in everyday life? Leave a comment below with your answer. The Pico 4 Enterprise VR headset is a great way to get started with virtual reality. It comes with everything you need, including a glossy white box, two controllers, a power adapter, a cable, and even a cleaning cloth. Plus, it has advanced tracking technology, three internal cameras to offer facial and eye tracking capabilities, and 6DOF detection. This gives you an even more immersive experience than most other headsets on the market. This kind of hardware at such an affordable price has people talking about how widespread these developments will be. But what effect will new emerging technologies have on social culture? How will virtual reality affect users' long-term cognitive behavior? It's hard to predict the exact impact of emergent technologies like virtual reality on social culture and long-term cognitive behavior, but based on current research and studies, it's expected that VR could have significant impacts on both aspects. In terms of social culture, VR could lead to an increase in virtual social interactions, potentially reducing face-to-face -face communication and physical social gatherings. On the other hand, VR could also provide new opportunities for people to connect and collaborate with others regardless of geographical location. Regarding cognitive behavior, extended use of VR could potentially lead to changes in perception, memory, and decision-making. But more research is needed to fully understand the long-term effects of VR on the brain and behavior. In any case, it's important to consider both the potential benefits and potential drawbacks of VR and other emerging technologies, and to implement measures to minimize negative effects and promote responsible use. The Pico 4 Enterprise headset is great for offices and conferences because it automatically adjusts to different people's eyes. This reduces the risk of simulator sickness and means companies don't need to buy special equipment for different people. It also means it gives presentations in virtual reality easier without worrying about any unique IPD issues. This technology lets businesses not only immerse their employees in training simulations, but also do things that weren't possible before, like having their staff interact with 3D space with hand tracking capabilities. It's not just making virtual reality easy to use, it's making our world more connected. But what impact will this have on society as we move towards digital experiences in everyday life? What do you think the impact of this technology will be on society? Leave a comment below with your answer. The Pico 4 Enterprise VR headset is a great deal. You get lots of features and a higher resolution display than other headsets at the same price range. Plus, eye tracking included as a standard makes it even more immersive than the Neo 3 Pro, which doesn't have eye tracking. 
It's far more affordable than the MetaQuest Pro, which has fewer features but costs twice as much. So if you're looking for an immersive virtual reality experience that won't break the bank, this is the perfect device for you. But with all of these advancements in technology making virtual reality more accessible, what implications will wider adoption of such technologies have on society? The Pico 4 Enterprise VR headset is the perfect device for everyday virtual reality needs. It has features like automatic IPD adjustment, eye and face tracking technology, and improved battery life compared to earlier models. That's why so many people are choosing it. But if you have specific enterprise needs, other headsets on the market may offer better solutions. For example, the MetaQuest Pro has a higher resolution display with 6K pixels per inch, but costs twice as much as the Pico 4 Enterprise. When businesses decide which virtual reality hardware to invest in, comfort and affordability are both important factors. It's essential to do research to find the brand that fits within the budget while still meeting all the technological expectations of an immersive experience. We want our professionals to be comfortable and motivated while using these technologies, so it's important to consider the pros and cons of different VR equipment. What implications will these new technologies have in the long run? The Pico 4 VR headset is an awesome way to get into virtual reality. It has really high quality display and resolution so you can explore digital realities like never before. Plus, it has eye tracking and hand tracking, allowing you to interact with objects and connect with people no matter where you are, all for half the price of the MetaQuest Pro. It's easy to see why this device is so popular compared to other headsets, but what effect will it have on our culture as we move further into the new age? What advancements in virtual reality technology and will they lead to good or bad things for society? The Pico 4 Enterprise VR headset is an affordable, feature-packed device that offers users a comfortable and immersive experience. It comes with eye and face tracking capabilities, 60UF tracking, and a high-resolution display. Plus, the lightweight design makes it easy to transport and use in any environment. But with this increased immersion in virtual reality, what implications does it have on our cognitive behavior and social culture? Virtual reality technology is becoming increasingly popular in a variety of industries. Today, VR is being used to create immersive experiences in entertainment, training, education, healthcare, and more. In entertainment, VR offers a way to interact with and explore 3D environments in virtual worlds. In education and training, VR can be used to create immersive simulated environments, helping improve knowledge retention. In healthcare, VR can be used to treat certain conditions like PTSD and phobias. VR technology can also be used in a variety of other industries, including architecture and design, marketing and advertising, construction, and manufacturing. The future of virtual reality is here, so it's time to start thinking about the implications of this new technology. In the next video, we're going to take a look at the Samsung Gear VR in 2023 and ask the question, does anyone still use it? Find out now before it's too late and join us on our journey to explore the potential of virtual reality.